66 million years ago, dinosaurs roam the Earth. Then, in a geological instant, they are wiped out right around the planet. Can draining the water from the Gulf of Mexico explain why? The story begins not in the Gulf, but over 1,500 miles away in New Jersey. This former quarry is one of the most important fossil sites in the world, because here, paleontologists discover a mass prehistoric graveyard. This is the boundary between the Cretaceous period, the age of the dinosaurs, and the age that comes after that, the Paleogene. And what we have here is a bone bed where we have about 25 fossils per square meter. Paleontologists have never found an in-place dinosaur bone one centimeter above that extinction layer anywhere on the planet. The absence of dinosaur fossils above this layer can mean only one thing. They were wiped out by a sudden cataclysmic event 66 million years ago. Whatever took out the dinosaurs was global, terrible, and instantaneous. Experts have offered many answers, but only one is widely accepted. By far the leading explanation is that an asteroid hit the Earth 66 million years ago and unleashed hell on Earth and took out the dinosaurs and 75% of life. Scientists scour the planet, looking for evidence of asteroid strikes. But none of the impact craters that they find are big enough and of the right age to be the culprit. Then, in Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula, they find a surprising lead. Mario Ribelledo is an expert in a remarkable natural phenomenon found all over this region. Sinkholes, known locally as cenotes. Formed by the erosion of soft limestone, they can be hundreds of feet deep. Exploring them requires years of experience. There are many caves, so it is easy for any inexperienced diver to go into one of these caves and get lost, or run out of air when you are in there. And that can be fatal. Mario discovers that many of the cenotes are linked through deep subterranean channels. But that's not all. They also display a remarkably similar structure. Normally, in sedimentary rocks like limestone, you expect the bedding to be horizontal. We saw a layer of rocks that are vertical. And on top of them, the rocks are again horizontal. This means that in this period of time, some big geological phenomenon happened that tilted them to that position. When seen from above, an extraordinary picture begins to emerge. The cenotes form an outline. It looks like the rim of a gigantic crater. The most likely explanation is that a massive asteroid strike reshaped this region and then the sinkholes formed in fault lines around its edge. Could this be the crater that's linked to the death of the dinosaurs? Today, millions of years after it was created, the heart of the impact site lies concealed not just under the waters of the Gulf of Mexico, but under several thousand feet of sedimentary rock. The only way to calculate its age and see if it dates from the demise of the dinosaurs is to analyze rocks from the crater itself.